Hey, what's going on, guys? I am Fos Five for it here, and welcome to episode ten of Minecraft Inspiration. Now, this is going to be a day late, and like a day and some odd hours late, uh, because I kind of built something big that I, um, yeah. Like, I mean, it's probably the same kind of scale as like uh, the episode three. Which like took like uh, a couple months, or like a month or something. I don't remember, but I like coming back to this build. Like you know, this, this is a this is a nice build, but I digress, and I'm already distracted, and we're not even recording for like more than five seconds here. I built something absolutely massive. It's a modern apartment building. Yeah, it's it's quite massive, and this is like that thing that it's like been in the distance over there for like forever now it's just a big patch of grass because I moved it um anyways this this thing uh took a while I mean like the apartments themselves are copy pasted so I'm only going to show one of them but everything else like figuring everything else out that took that took a while because everything else other than the apartments is unique um so we have the front entrance here it's very sophisticated and I just realized something this that should not be there and uh, I'm just gonna fix this right now because it's going to annoy me if I don't fix it oh I just took a screenshot whatever uh yeah uh, that happened let's let's, uh, let's ignore that I'm placing blocks accidentally here uh, let's ignore that mistake and continue with the build anyways front entrance seeing more mistakes don't don't mind me make sure I have my glowstone block okay um, front entrance uh, that was kind of the uh, the uh, I'll, I'll fix that later don't don't mind that little mistake right there um, anyways front entrance it's very uneventful kind of got like a help desk for like uh, the people who met ma like maintain like the grounds um, and like if you have like problems with hot water or, or whatever that that's why, I, but I imagine this very uninteresting desk to be, and this very uninteresting, like, main entrance. I mean, I could have put, like, a, a bench or something here, but there's really no point for this other than just, I gotta get to the stairs and get up to the top. Anyways, first floor, uh, and the, the first apartment, and the only apartment that I'm gonna show you, because it is literally copy and pasted three times on top of each other. Uh, first one, right here. Uh, or the, yeah, first one. It's a, a grand entrance for such a small apartment. Uh, and right off the bat, you can enter the master bedroom. It's only a one bedroom, one bath apartment because honestly, there's not enough space in this apartment to really have, uh, two bedrooms that of, of like a realistic size. So this is the only bedroom in the place. It's a master bedroom. Get this nice bed with a full carpet which uh, has this nice little red the, like the whole building is white white and red and then i have like red accents throughout the entire thing which i thought was pretty cool with a small seating area and a bookcase and a like desk and the only bathroom uh in the uh the apartment is right here it's pretty simple obviously bathrooms are relatively simple i've shown like a few of them now got your run-of-the-mill shower, toilet, sink. It's nothing too special. And uh, into the main living area with an absolutely massive TV. Like, this is like an ultra-wide TV. Like, ultra-wide monitor, but a TV. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like a uh, 34, 40, 14 by 1440p TV. Yeah. It's... That's 2K, I think. If I remember my computer terms correctly. Um, carpet. Same design as the uh, the, the bedroom. With kind of a 
the the couch that you've kind of seen on the channel already that I do a lot. It's a just a simple couch. Uh, this one doesn't actually have like a descending slope to the back. It's just kind of flat backed or a like flat top on the back. So I changed it up a little bit. Um, and kitchen, you've seen something very similar. Coffee maker, sink, uh, a double fridge, and a stove on the island with a, a range above it. And tons of counter space looking over the majestic uh, little town we have going on here. And now that is this apartment. I'm going to repeat it again because I want to make that obvious that I'm not going to show all three apartments because they are all exactly the same. But I will show you the staircases because I like the staircases. The staircases are cool. So up here, same apartment, literally same apartment. You can you just saw it, just different paintings because the paintings don't like copying for some reason. Um, and when I copy them in MC Edit. And stairs up to the top, and obviously the same exact thing. You can see it's the same. This one's just obviously going to be a bit more expensive because it's higher up with a better view of everything around it. Now, for the coolest part, I think, of this apartment building is the fact that across the hall from this apartment, so it's a bonus for this apartment, but at the top, and it's for all the, the people who live in the apartment, obviously it's not that many, there's a pool up here, and I am a genius. Um, just forgetting to place blocks because I'm so rushed and getting videos out this weekend. Um, there's a pool up here with a small little deck. You just can imagine like someone's got a little grill up here and uh, have some burgers or something and awesome skylights um, that you would have to imagine would retract. Um, back and they'd be like made of multiple like little sheets of glass instead of just one massive sheet of glass because this ain't just any pool this is a heated pool so obviously it'd get a little steamy up in here if it if uh those couldn't retract um you gotta imagine it's it's minecraft you can't really simulate that but it's it's kind of like a cool it's got a glass edge so kind of the infinity pool effect even though it's not really an infinity pool because there's still this ledge right here and obviously this ledge down here um and now an interesting part of this was i was gonna have the parking be underground underneath it but i kind of made it so you have you kind of drive underneath the building to get to the parking lot and this i thought was pretty cool like um the center isn't like the two sides of the road uh, aren't divided out just by like a median um, or not like a median, a uh, like a line, or a, a, just a wall. It's divided out by a median um, that has uh, these cool pillars made out of red stained uh, glass that look like they're support beams, even though they in Minecraft they do absolutely nothing. And uh, moving on to the the back here, this is the parking lot. Just a, a few parking spaces. Uh, they're very. Very simple and very bright because the sun is just blinding you. Um, and this thing casts a heck of a shadow too. Like that's that's no small. That's not a small shadow because um, this is the tallest building I have built so far, and it's very ultra modern too. It's not like modern or just. I mean, it's it's modern, but it's ultra. It's smooth and silky and just. I'm gonna stop now. Anyways, uh, the apartments are all, all three of them the same, but I'm continuing to expand the city. I might throw another road in here. I might actually copy and paste this a few other times, like later on the down the road and like move them around the city. So there's like multiple ones, but that's, that's for a later date. And I think next episode, I'm going to build something a little bit like this. Cause this uh, coming back to this build, this is a, an amazing build. I love this build. I want to build more like it, so I might. So look forward to that. Um, anyways, this is a ultra modern apartment building with not a lot of like unique features other than the, the pool up top, which actually goes underneath the little platform. So if you want to drown yourself, this is the perfect place to do it. Wink. Um, yeah, Woo, you can't even get under there. Um, but like the, uh, as I said, the apartments are all the same. 
But uh, hit that like button if you liked it. And uh, if you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. It means a ton and is much appreciated. Anyways, I am Fos548 signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.